Let's just activate all of them. Yeah, uh, there, there's a number yeah, corresponding to it in the uh, quest thing, and the number will be the same on the waypoint for it. That that also helps. No, I mean even when I turn <coughs> when I turn O'Malley's off, it's the same spot, and it still tells me it's the cloak and daggers achievement or quest. That's weird. Um, make sure. Uh, weird. Make sure you turn uh, lesser evils to active. Yeah, to I, be when I turn it active and turn O'Malley inactive, what I'm saying is that it still happens. Weird, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, let me go get O'Malley and see if that erases the bug. I don't know which apartment was he on. Upstairs. What floor was O'Malley on? Hi, O'Malley. Mr. Jensen. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete. <laughs> I can choose to fight him immediately. Uh... I'll be Treachery? Thankful. You lie, steal, murder, manipulate, and cheat on a daily basis. Men like you shouldn't even be allowed to use the word treachery. Your little outburst me, is quite amusing, Mr. Jensen. I didn't mean any of it as an insult. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I just not I strongly much, suggest yeah. you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. I'm listening. Listen. I don't resent you for what you did. You played your cards and alliances well, and it's something I can respect. Still, it doesn't mean that I accept defeat. I'm willing to transfer to you a rather enviable sum in exchange for my freedom. I think I'll have enough money. I don't think so. No more games. You're going down. So be it. Uh, I hear the shotgun. There we go. This is booming. There we go. Oh, that was hilarious. He was like really close to the desk when I did the takedown on him. So I flipped him oh, into the desk. And his legs went all funny. Into the desk. His legs didn't go funny, yeah, but his head was driven right into the desk. Head. And his body just sort of crushed up. <laughs> he did, how, wait, how is he going to transfer money to me if he doesn't have it on him? I am disappointed. Oh, what's this in his room? Oh hey, crossbow arrows, I can sell those. Poor O'Malley. His refrigerator's gone missing too. Does he know where it is? Okay, yeah, the, it's at the same apartment building, so I just gotta go downstairs and talk to the guy. That must be why the quest arrows were overlapping. Okay, no, this is the wrong way. Okay, I'm missing something from a computer. I must not have hacked it properly. Here we go. Yo, hey, no. I know you're here, man. What? You think you can just cut me off? Yep, some guy's looking for Tyndall. He's about to get a world of pain. Come on, man! I need you ain't supposed to be I love doing that. Yeah, and I got his I'll be right back. Theory. Okay. I did it.
So? What happened? He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've always liked your style, Jensen. I know I've said it a couple of times already, but... Thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? <laughs> good luck with... Well... Whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days. My ass is no longer cute. You did a good thing, it's Jensen. It's augmented. Once a good cop, always a good cop, huh? Okay, meet with Tyndall. What you need, player? Yo, you look I like know the man who knows how to find goods. that good shit. You want Upgrades, some? weapons, stuff like that. Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life, and that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit, the dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two pushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. Deal. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. Okay, it's time to go get them. You trying to scare me? Plus five. Cause you don't. Look at you. What are you? A goddamn super soldier or something? I heard about them on the radio. Lazarus is the shit. Not like that Eliza bitch. What the fuck is that? And I fail to take out the dealers. Okay. Tase one first, then punch the other. Probably the better solution. Fucking gunshots! There we go. Thank you for those shotgun shells.
Okay, so I guess I'm almost done with Detroit. I just gotta go back to Seraph and turn in that quest too. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still, you can only combine you saved my armor piercing with the pistol. Here's your footage. Yeah. Oh man. Listen, Tindall, I know the you're trying to do the right thing. Is right next to but we have to do things by the book, or we'll just have chaos. I'll put you in contact with someone inside Seraph Industries. They may be able to get you neuropathy for those who need it. Seriously? You'd really do that? Wow. I never would have expected this from you, Jensen. I really appreciate this. Tell Corell I'm sorry. Yay. Okay, we did Tyndall. Now I can sell my stuff at the gas station. What's your pleasure, friend? I can sell him all of my crossbow arrows, not like I want it. Oh, trank darts, don't want those either. I uh, might as well sell him the peps. It's pretty expensive. Yeah, here we go. Sell him the combat rifle. Wow, combat rifle is worth 630. I kind of don't feel like I'll need the combat rifle. Shotgun's probably good. It, did you find any use for the whiskey and wine? I guess it recovers health or something. I guess never found it. I guess I'll keep it for now. It doesn't take up much space. See you soon. Okay, so now you can see my inventory much clearer. I probably should buy some stun gun darts before I leave. And I need to check out the limb clinic. So I need to return to Corella. Oh, Limb Clinic's behind me. Let's go to the Limb Clinic real quick and buy that Praxis kit. Oh god! The bad boss fight is awful! You're finally at the boss fight at the end of that area? Yeah, I heard there's barrels yeah, you can throw. Yeah, Donkey Kong style. I never thought of that. You say the police were overly violent? Overly violent. Dr. Oh, you know, I never explored the limb clinic. I could sneak around here, right? I better keep my distance from first. Will you be purchasing anything today? Yeah, I'm buying your Praxis kit. Always a pleasure, sir. Okay, there goes nothing. I've never been out there in this t-shirt before. Wow. Uh, sorry, I was just looking at that scar on your head. I've never been under anesthesia before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? Uh, more or less. I know it sounds a little hair-raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? 